Hello again, welcome back to Spurred On. I'm Barnaby Slater and I'm here for some more Tottenham transfer talk with my man from The Telegraph, Tom Edwards. Tom, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Have you had a Barnaby, good week? Uh, I've had quite a good week, yes. Okay, well this is part one of Tottenham transfer talk. We're going to have three parts this week and in part one we're going to talk about potential incomings to the lane this week. So we're going to start off with Gianelli Imbula from Marseille. What do you know about him? Yes, um, he looks good. He looks good. Um, he's a good... Uh, He's, he's good at tackling. He's obviously more of a defensive-minded central midfielder. Um, his tackling stats look good. He's a good passer of the ball. Mm -hmm. I think we're kind of looking at him, um, presumably, to partner either Bentaleb or, or Mason. Yeah. Um, and I think he, you know, he's young, so he would obviously be a player in a similar kind of mould. And I think what, what Poch is obviously looking for is youth, so he can kind of mould players into into his philosophy. Right. And obviously. You need lots of energy to play the high press, That's right. he particularly does, in midfield. I'm glad you mentioned energy because he does look like, uh, from what I've seen, a very kind of quick, powerful midfielder, almost of the Vieira-esque, Musa Sissoko-esque mould. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, you can, it's, I can say Vieira was a great player even though yeah. he played for Woolwich, but he was a better player for France. I always thought. Um, but yeah, uh, Mbula, Mbula, great left foot from what I've seen. He's, he doesn't score many, but he scored the odd pile driver with his left foot from the edge of the box. Um, yes. Is it a transfer that's likely to happen? Do we think what what kind of money are we talking about? Um, well, uh, you see you see a few different numbers bandied about, and I think it's it's always liable to to rise if other clubs show an interest. But I it's mean, not liable to rise if Levy's getting his deal. Well, it's either well, it's it. either going to stay where he wants it, or it's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, well, I've 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 seen uh, various different prices quoted. It's always difficult to say, but I think we'd probably be talking between. Around about 15 mil mark, 15 mil. Well, that is in the range that uh, Levy came out and said we'd be looking to buy it. So it's a possibility. Let's move on. Uh, someone a little bit closer to home, James McCarthy at Everton. He's a he's a rugged, tough tackling midfielder himself, isn't he? <laughs> he is, yeah. He's, he's, he's very consistent as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, we know what we're getting with James McCarthy. I don't think we need to go through, you know, his... Uh, his qualities on no. field because we see them in the league. But, but the, the key thing about McCarthy, I think, is that proven Premier League experience, which is what everybody's been talking about, what Poch has been talking about, is that we know he can he can mix it in the Premier League. Yeah. So I mean, and and, and he's from from what I've seen, this isn't uh, you know insider knowledge or anything, but from what I've seen, it, it seems like he's it, it's a point of principle with um, with Martinez. You know, is that it's, right? It's, I mean, it's just from what I've read. Sure, that, sure, sure. That, um, you know that he's he's unhappy with. I mean, you know, obviously Evan had Evan a bad season. Had a bad season, yeah. So, so perhaps it might be uh, likely because of that. You yeah, know? I mean, and I wonder whether if that is something that could happen, whether that's Lennon going the other way as part of that deal as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I suppose so. I, th I think I, I'd I mean, almost, I, I don't I would think, about. Yeah, yeah. Lennon. I would it think that of... I would think that maybe Lennon would go for something like six, and then if they're looking for fifteen for McCarthy, then we add on a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That feels end. that feels quite mm -hmm. quite levy as well, doesn't it? it that does kind feel of a, that kind of a deal. Yeah. Well, so. I, that is a signing I would like. Let us know in the comment section if that's a signing you would like too. Uh, we're going to move on to Yannick Balassi. Now, Balassi is a player I've talked about before, and I like a bit of a mysterious left winger. Doesn't know what he's doing himself. So how can defenders know how to deal with it? The latest that I've read is possibly us giving some money to Palace, plus your favourite player, my favourite player, Emmanuel Adebayor. Now, I, Adebayor is a player I can see playing for Palace because he was willing to go to West Ham in January before Levy refused to deal with West Ham. So, you know, is that something you'd like, that deal? Um, I'd like to, yeah. I mean, I would certainly take it. I, I don't think... I don't think it'll happen, though. Really? I mean, well, would you if you were if you had Yannick Bellassi on your books and you would off, you were offered Emmanuel Adebayor and what you know, a few million? It, he's you know he's been great for them. He's if been it's really ten million, good. though, I, it's I mean, ten he's million. A, he's a real fair player, and I think they're going to want to hold on to him. I, I, yeah, maybe he's angling. Maybe he's angling for a move. Maybe he saw how well John Bostock did after he moved and Wayne Routledge, and thinks to himself. I want a piece of that Tottenham action too. Who knows? Uh, and then we're going to move back o back over to uh, Europe and Germany. Timo Werner. We think it's definitely Werner with well, the Well, we w. don't know, do we? We've been discussing this. Is um, it Timo Werner to play with I, Kevin Wimmer? Uh, I think it's got to be a, it's a V, isn't it? The W is a V. I, uh, is it? Uh, it, it must is. be. It has it's to a v. be. Uh, if, a you're, v. if you're German and you know, please let us know in the comments box uh, what it is. Um, <laughs> Timo Werner plays for Stuttgart. He's 19 years old. <laughs> I haven't seen much of him. He hasn't played that many games. Uh, he's a forward and he hasn't scored that many goals, but he is the youngest ever player to play for Stuttgart in the Bundesliga. Yes. And uh, I've seen some stuff of him where he looks a, a, 
a talent, you know, really raw, quick, um, but also can take on a man. Uh, and good vision as well. I've seen some great through balls that he's put in. So, uh, you know, that yeah. does seem like the kind of signing we're, we're making. It sounds it? like a great signing, yeah. Um, I mean, he's, you know, as you say, he's only scored the three goals, I believe, this season. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, not great, but he is, again, he's young and he's being touted as a bright young hope for, you know, German football. You know, the national coach has, has, is well aware of him. He's definitely on the national coach's radar, which is obviously a great thing with a yeah. team like Germany have. So, yeah, I mean, I think it'd be a great signing. Um, I mean, I, I was sort of looking at him um, in comparison with uh, Marshall. The, Anthony the, Marshall uh, from Anthony Monaco, Marshall, that's right. Yes, um, and Marshall looks to be the better player on most key stats in terms of goals, assists, mm -hmm. you know, forward passes. Um, mm -hmm. And he's and, a, and he's a, a shooting he's a, accuracy he's as well. He's a quick, powerful player. But in yeah. the, I mean, I mentioned it before, but a hint it of the uh, Terry Henrys about him. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, he looks great. Um, it, it looks very unlikely, though. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, Werner may be someone who they've kind of seen that Marshall perhaps kind of second is that best. unlikely. Yeah, but I mean, it seems like a really good second best if is that's he, what it is. Is he the Benji Stambouli to Morgan <laughs> Schneiderlin? Is that what we're saying? Um, oh, let's I, not do that. We can't yeah. compare it to Benji Stambouli. Uh, it's it does. Unfair the, on the Paul Werner. That's true. The Monaco uh, boss has come out and said that he won't be leaving today. So yes. that one looks like a done deal. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let us know what you think of all those signings, potential signings that we've talked about in the comment section below. Uh, that was the end of part one of today's Tottenham Transfer Talk. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV, and we'll be back for part two. The free transfer list has come out, and I've picked out a couple of players who I think Spurs could and potentially should go for.